Alright, hello everybody, and welcome back to some more Minecraft on the Igloo SMP server. My name is Ike, and some things have changed around here since you've been here last. Let me shut off this infernal clicking. Uh, so, me and C, he's he's not living with me, but he's hanging around here for a bit. Uh, collected some eggs, and we set up this compact little 3x3. This is a necessary in sort of slabs. It's a 3x3 chicken farm. Uh, let me run you guys through how it works. There's a whole bunch of tutorials on this, so I don't think I need to make one. But I will if you ask. Basically, there's some chickens in a cauldron, and I breed them with seeds, and when they lay eggs, it drops down to this, these hoppers, which put it into a dropper, up into another dropper, and into a dispenser. This dispenser fires into another cauldron, see there, where the baby chickens are kept, because they're 0.75 blocks high, um, and then when they become full-grown, the lava, they, they touch the lava, lava touches their faces, and they come down here with cooked chicken and feathers. Uh, those drops are sucked up by a hopper, the whole thing is controlled by a hopper clock with some stuff in it that's not supposed to be in it. <laughs> Whoopsie. And a uh, a redstone comparator. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. I knew it. I just was struggling. Uh, so I have done a little bit of work on the portal. It's nothing too fancy. Just some polished uh, the, the iodine. It's not iodine. Granite. God damn it. <laughs> uh, some gray glass and some stone. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, slight interruption. Uh, so the polished granite with some gray glass in front of it surrounded by stone. And then uh, obviously just the polished andersite. Oh, fuck. What's it called? Andersite? I think it's andersite, isn't it? Uh... Fuck. See, where did you go? Oh, you bastard. And now my world's not loading. I can get a view. Oh, look, there's a bunny down there. You can get a... Look at... There. You can have a glimpse of my mineshaft. Um, anything else we can see through here? That'd be cool. Not really. Alright. Very well. Useless then. Ah, uh, well, that's annoying. I'll have to fix that. Uh, I know I have some dirt around here somewhere. There's some dirt. Just because these creeper holes annoy the hell out of me. And I'll replace the bookshelves later. Leave the space open for those when I do. Actually, do I have books around? I guess I don't. I must have used them all for enchanting. Um, speaking of enchanting, I did some enchanting. I got Efficiency 3, Unbreaking 3, Fortune 2, and Aquafinity 1. Uh, also, Efficiency 4, Silk Touch 1. That was awesome. I didn't expect that one. I don't even think that was level 30. But uh, I also have this Prismarine Shard because I found a Water Temple uh, way, way over in this direction. At about negative uh, 5200, about 5000 blocks out. Excuse me, sorry. Um, I found a water temple and the guardians kicked my ass. So I had like half a stack of diamonds and I was seven because I lost a full suit of diamond armor trying to go in there. Um, I didn't do any research, I just walked in. I did not expect mining fatigue and laser shooting guardians, I think they're called fish, fish, fishy fucks with tails. And uh, I just got wrecked basically. They kicked my ass. And I, I deserved it because I didn't do the research. So uh, I think me and C and Reese are going to team up and go and take that place on. I know there's another one right by spawn too. Uh, I also, I think I mentioned in the last episode, I discovered the stronghold. Uh, so the Ender Dragon fight is not going to happen soon. But when it does, I will be in charge of the uh, putting up the Enderman farm. Which unfortunately means I might miss an episode here or there. Uh, just because that's going to be pretty time intensive gathering supplies and whatnot. I also built this tree. I'm not sure how I feel about this, but I built this tree. It kind of comes up over the portal. I thought it looked all right. Oh, I see. Um, so that none of this has anything. Welcome back, see. Uh, none of this has any bearing on what we're going to be doing today. Today we are going to be building a blacksmith, and. <laughs> it's going to look somewhat like blacksmiths that you've seen before. By that, I mean it's going to look somewhat like the village blacksmith. I debated on making a uh, building around this chicken farm, and I think that's what we'll probably do next episode. 
I'm thinking. Yeah, see, look at that. It's not super efficient, but it just gives me enough food that I can live and uh, kind of not have to super, super worry about it. A whole ton. Uh, we also got some potions, obviously, and I have been doing a ton of farming involving blazes. Uh, where are my... Oh, yeah, this is all my... Kind of where I keep my valuables. Uh, but, yeah, I'm using blaze rods to cook things now instead of coal because coal is going to be used for torches. I will torch this all up when I flatten this hill. Uh, what I'm doing, I'm I'm just waiting for that because I want to enchant a really nice pickaxe and so I can flatten out this whole area is my plan. So I thought about building a kind of a little building around this royal chicken, royal chicken, sorry, uh, this uh, chicken farm. It's going to be royal chicken-esque, I guess, if you are a fan of Minecraft and you know anything about BTC. I, th I think BTC built the chicken farm. To be honest, I'm not a fan of BTC. Like, I, that sounded meaner than I meant it. I mean, I don't watch his videos. Not that I don't like the guy. So, after that little bit of awkwardness, <laughs> we're gonna put this, uh, we're gonna put the blacksmith here, I'm thinking. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Um, I should also show you guys this little thing. This kind of natural cave here. Uh, because I'm definitely gonna do something with that. I just haven't decided what it's going to be. I think I'm going to kind of hollow it out and fill it with water. Make it a little kind of like magical grove back there. That's what I'm thinking. And uh, then the village, kind of the houses are going to be here. And then the more functional buildings kind of wrapping in a circle over there. And then probably put some towers vaguely like this one, but taller and skinnier, I think, on the hills around here. Uh, the one thing about this is... Sometimes these chickens will lay eggs and they'll go shooting out the back here just because there's a comparator There's not much I can do about that, but for the most part it works. Uh, it works pretty well Okay, so what are we gonna use for this build we're gonna need cobblestone stone uh, diorite no andersite <sighs> Andesite not andersite andesite What is happening right here, right now? I don't know, whatever. Uh, oh, I keep thinking I hear a creeper sound and it's... Whew, it's messing me up, man. It's messing me up hard. Uh, okay, so we're gonna need... A couple of stairs. A couple of walls. Seaside is around here, I hope. <laughs> I hope that's him. You need andesite. Okay, I just turned all my andesite into that. Oh, seaside's not around here. It's this motherfucker. All right, let's murder you quickly. Oh, I was trying to get a record there. Um, I know there's an andesite. 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 <laughs> I keep saying andesite because I've known Anders, like the Minecrafter, for so long that his name is just ingrained into my head. So I just automatically associate him with the andesite. And it comes out andesite. I'm sorry. I do apologize. I won't need too, too much of this. I'm also going to need some gray stained glass and uh, some oak wood. I originally, in the original uh, design, I think I thought it out with acacia wood. But uh, we don't have an acacia biome. I went. That's actually when I found the water temple. Is I was out searching for a uh, mesa biome and hoping to stumble across the savanna. I found neither. Although I did find a uh, two villages and we got some potatoes out of those, which was nice because it gives us a uh, a good infinite food source. We had carrots, but you know they're not exactly the best. Yeah, we don't need those just yet. Um, so I'm thinking, uh, actually what, give me two seconds, I'm going to jump off and check the dimensions for this build, and then I'll be right back.
Okay, like I thought, it is a 10 by 7. So we're going to need, starting here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, that's, I may have counted that wrong. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, we're going to need a bit of dirt. Actually, what? I'm going to use stone. Kind of in keeping with the build. I just need to fill in this whole platform. Gives it gives the structure kind of a uh, a sturdy looking base to sit on. And then we can do this. And I think it's three. Like that. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, I'm actually going to change these. Look like that. There we go. Uh, we need some oak wood. I do remember. I do remember this being a thing. There we go. Uh, and of course, no. I have some oak wood. I'm kind of thinking I should use dark, like spruce wood, but honestly, there's not that much wood to build. And I think if I don't like it, we can just change it out later. So I think it starts here, and it goes up to three, and then this comes across. I think I have this right. And then you just do the same thing as you did when you were building the base, the rough 7 by 10. Oh, missed that by one. I'm gonna need some more cobble. Dang it. Luckily that is a thing that is in no short supply. I swear I had these chests organized <laughs> last episode, and since then they have all gone to hell. Gone to hell in a handbasket. This definitely goes here. And then there's Oop, that's not what I meant to do. Andersite. Coming across like this. <laughs> what I really need to do is set up uh, dual monitors so that I can uh, see what's going on on both sides of my screen. Or so that I can have a reference picture up on one screen. I have an extra monitor. It's just sitting down in my basement. It's not very good, but I think it would be compatible. I should try and hook it up. There we go. Okay, uh, now I'm thinking it starts here and then comes across, maybe, I don't know, for sure it's like this. Uh, let me actually, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to check to make sure that I have my references right. And uh, I will be back in two seconds. <laughs> wow, somebody's angry. Somebody's angry that I'm leaving. Uh, but first, let's just throw this glass in here. Uh, but yeah, I'll be right back. I just need to go check the dimensions.
Okay, so I was a bit off. Um, let's get up here. There's just a couple of things that's wrong with that. Number one, these go all the way up to the top. Yes. Let's sleep over here. There we go. And that gets rid of that infernal rain, too. Thank goodness. Uh, the other thing that I knew that we needed to do... Make a whole bunch of those. And then turn... Those into those. Because we need to ring the whole top of this building. Oh, we're going to be one short, aren't we? Oh, perfect. We were right on. That is wonderful. Little things like that make me happy in this game. There we go. <laughs> is it starting to remind you of anything yet? Okay, and... I know that that comes along like this. And actually, I think I'm wrong about that design. Okay, indeed. Oh, whoa. Oh, fucking fuck. Fuck. <sighs> Why does this shit only happen when I'm recording? Why? Just... Uh, why? Okay. Uh, but yes, I was wrong. Um, well, not wrong. But I was incorrect in my dimensions. I had to do two of these suckers. You shouldn't attack me because it's daytime. Little asshole. Uh, nope, stone is not what we want. We want <laughs> the andesite that we just put in the chest. Oh, wonderful. Okay, uh, andesite. There we go. Do we have any other... Oh, we had two furnaces right there. Dang it. That's alright. Alright, we have a bit more andesite. This is good. We don't really need it, but... Uh, so basically, what happens... Let's throw some metal bars in there just to shake things up a bit, you know? Not keep everything looking the same. Change is good. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And actually, let's see how this looks. Uh, it's a bit too shiny, I think. I feel. Uh, and then we need an anvil, which we can now take from here. A slightly damaged anvil. And place here. Beautiful. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, obviously, you guys have already got this. Uh, but this is the villager black smith layout uh, it's just been slightly altered using the stone and the new blocks to uh, suit what I think it should look like I guess I feel so pompous saying that but generally that's the idea behind it so get, let me give me the quick let me give you the quick run through uh, there's going to be a chest here and a little table thing here, but uh, nothing too, nothing too, too fancy. Uh, I know we have some wood around. We have to have wood. <laughs> Rule of life. You always have to have wood. Okay. Um, we're going to need to cut down one of these trees because I need more wood. There we go. make two of these and these are actually going to be functional believe it or not uh, this is gonna be where I keep my enchanted books it's right here 
And uh, if we ever want to stack three of these, all I have to do is pop these out and replace them with... I was going to say, do I have any slabs or stairs on me? Uh, just replace those with slabs, and because the ring on the outside, you won't be able to see uh, that it's slabs and not full blocks. So you can actually have uh, technically six chests or three double chests uh, up here all fully functioning. Fill these with enchanted books or whatever you want. Use the anvil out here. You can, you've can. you got two working furnaces. So this is actually a uh, pretty good build if you are just looking purely for function. And uh, the wood doesn't burn because obviously it's far enough away from the lava. Just far enough away from the lava. Check it in here. No, it's not. So, uh, that's pretty much it. And then you can basically just, if you want to, uh, add your own leaves. Uh, or, uh, like, I'm going to add some shrubbery to this. Uh, depending on what you want your build really to look like. Because I'm kind of giving mine the abandoned, rundown look. I don't even want to say abandoned. It's just kind of as if the foliage had grown around it. And once I level all this, it's not just going to be a flat plane. I'm going to plant trees and... Uh, probably have some kind of like a forest going through here, but with pathways and things. Um, I want it to look as if I'm living in nature, but as though I've sculpted the nature to fit with the buildings. I want it to have like a really kind of rundown look, but be flowing at the same time. Let's get some more of these leaves here. Yeah, I think, I hope... My hope is that this is going to look pretty nice when it's done. And I think it will, if we uh, kind of stick with the themes and uh, keep working on it. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Gonna break this block. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Oh my goodness, that was a uh, miserable failure. So we're actually gonna have these leaves kind of up top here, and then we're just gonna get them to hang down. Tiny bit. There we go. I think that's good. I'm going to break these two out too and do another one of these hangle dangling thingies. There we go. You know what? There we go. That seems like it fits better. And just to even it out, I'm also going to put uh, some foliage back along here. And I realize I could place it over top, the leaves over top of this, but see what happens is you get this space. And that, uh, I don't think that looks very good. Looks rather sloppy, if you know what I mean. Did you Get out of my recording, guy. And uh, basically, there you are. There you have it. The uh, working blacksmith. Throw one of those up there, give us some light. Ow, 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 ow. And I think that's going to about do it. <clears throat> so, uh, is there anything else I wanted to talk to you guys about this episode? Um, talk to you about the exploring, talk about the new things that I've done. Um, oh, yes, uh, in the next episode, 
either the next one or the one after, um, depending on what we're doing, because I may work on the building that's going to be around this, or uh, if not, uh, Reese discovered a skeleton spawner just over that hill a tiny bit, uh, another 20, 20, 30 blocks or so. Uh, he discovered a skeleton spawner, and I promised that I would make the EXP farm for that because EXP farms are kind of my thing. So uh, I decided that would be a good idea. Uh, so we may work on that next episode. I'm still not sure how I'm going to do the farm. I think I'm going to do it with fall damage. Just because that's the easiest to regulate. But, uh, for now, I'm going to thank you guys very much for watching. And I will see you in the next episode if I do not die. <laughs> Peace, love, I care. Bye-bye.